helping NASA identify craters on Mars, tracking bird migrations, playing a game on your smartphone to measure symptoms of Parkinson's disease. These are examples of how people can engage in science through projects called citizen science. The number of projects like these has exploded in the last decade, making it possible to reach more and more people, especially people who have not always been included in science. Individuals can benefit through their participation by getting a deeper understanding of science. They can learn how scientists explain the world around them and how they use systematic methods to gain new insights. A new study from the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering and Medicine emphasizes that learning through citizen science won't happen on its own. Projects require planning and intentional design. To promote learning through citizen science, you need to know the audience you're designing for. Think about what you want them to learn and plan the project using evidence-based design strategies. To be inclusive in the planning process, it is important to consider the broad range of participants and the communities they live in. You might need to offer project materials in more than one language or help participants get up to speed with using project technology. One community might be concerned about water quality, while another is concerned about air quality. All of these need to be taken into account in order to realize the potential of citizen science for science learning. To find out more on how citizen science can support science learning, see the report Learning Through Citizen Science – Enhancing Opportunities by Design.